big guy. See his head start. Now watch me smoke him. Ladies, my ladies. school, Sorotin, and you're a loser now. You got a lot of work to do, because you're pathetic. Lucky for you, you're being trained by the best. Me. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nobody beats Charlie Heston. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! I didn't even know we were racing. <laughs> Ooh, sounds like a challenge. <laughs> Challenging me? Your sensei, your master, your mentor? The bond is broken. Charlie, I didn't even Well, then know. you're on, pal. Because it just so happens that tomorrow's the holiday downhill time trials. I'm gonna smoke you. I know a few people. I'll have something arranged. <laughs> See you then, little boy. Let's get out of here, boys. Let's get a yeah. few more runs in. Oh, and uh, Sorotin, give me ten. <laughs> In the yellow snow. <laughs> hey Jason, how's it going? Good, how are you, Veronica? Doing pretty well. And how's the skiing coming along? Skiing's going pretty well. Um, next week I'm taking the test and uh, I should be a full-fledged ski instructor. So, awesome. Yeah. A full-fledged ski instructor? Not without my okay. Veronica. Hey, baby. <sighs> so good to see you. It's good to see you too, Charlie. See that, Jason? That's a real man. <laughs> yeah, Charlie. 100% grade A beef. A ski instructor. That's what it takes. You really think anyone wants to learn something from you? Hey, would you like a cup of coffee? We got the special holiday mint kind that you like. That would be terrific. Yes. Hey, you know, while you're up, why don't you go ahead and get one for my ski wee buddy over here? Okay. You know, why don't I just give you a hand? Okay. Okay. Veronica? Yes, Jason? Veronica, um... Now that I'm a full-fledged ski instructor, I was wondering if you'd go to the Winter Wonderland dance with me. Oh, Jason, now that you're a ski instructor, I'll do anything you want. Anything? Anything. Mm. <laughs> you know, what I was just thinking about, Jason, I was just thinking about making out with Veronica Sparks. Oh, did I hit a nerve? What's your problem, Sorotin? You'll never get a girl like Veronica Sparks. She's looking for a real man, real beef, a ski instructor. Veronica, Jason and I here were just about to have a hot coffee chugging contest. Want to see who's better at chugging hot liquid? Sure. On the count of three, we chug. 
One. Two. that, he says to me, straight face, then I'll be a full-fledged ski instructor. <laughs> Cliff, don't you ever interrupt one of my hilarious stories. Where are you going? I was gonna go get a drink. Well then, get me a stolen tab. Three cubes, you know, while you're up. <laughs> All right, so anyway, I sit down in front of him, and I start telling him what it takes to be a ski instructor, and guess what? He's not in. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one? You do? Yeah, I wrote that on the way down from the mountain. When I beat him. <laughs> What's up, sexy? Just getting my friend Charlie and I a drink. Charlie Hess? That's right. Well, do you mind if I join you? Of course. Great. Let's go. <laughs> I even beat this guy to his own house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to make him a ski instructor. Please. <laughs> Cliff, I can speak to you for a minute, Chief. What are the rules, Cliff? I know, Charlie. I know, but I think she, I think she really likes me. Cliff. Come on. Really? Please, Charlie, just, just this one once. Uh, no. I get her tonight, and then you get her. Those are the rules, Cliff. And I noticed you didn't bring me the drink, but that's okay, because you brought the fox. So I think it's about time I introduce you to my friend, friend Charlie. I was wondering what you were going to do tomorrow night. Hi. I'm Charlie. Charlie has. Jason, I've been looking for you everywhere. Really? Yeah. I heard about the race tomorrow. Oh, you heard about that, huh? Are you kidding me? 
everybody's talking about it. It's getting more attention than who's going with who to the Winter Wonderland dance. Veronica, speaking of the Winter Wonderland dance, Jason. I... Yes, Veronica? You can't race Charlie down Mount Death. Mount Death? Yes, only level five super ski instructors have what it takes to navigate the rough terrain. Veronica, I have to race Charlie down Mount Death. If I don't, he'll never make me a ski instructor. I came here to be a ski instructor. It's my dream. It's what I want to do. I have to. I have to race Charlie. I just love to cuddle, don't you? <coughs> Man, I feel a sneeze coming on. Oh, that was something, huh? Oh. Oh, it's big. Air she blows. Oh, oh my, that could be contagious. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, oh with your, your shoes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Um, call me, okay? Call me. You're watching Charles Dickens' classic, A Christmas Carol, and we'll be back after these words. Are you afraid of intimacy? Do you use and walk on everyone in your life? Are you lonely? Yeah, that's not going to do anything. <sighs> He's not getting it. Charlie, we are merely trying to sketch an appointment with you, and it We must do it quickly because this is our busiest time of year. Okay, very funny. Rex, Sid, Cliff. If you don't choose an appointment time, one will be issued for you. It would be really in your best interest to schedule an appointment. It really would be. Alright. Alright guys, come on! I got a big day tomorrow! What the heck? Very funny. Alright, very funny. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, and Cliff, Carmen, eh, not that great. You didn't miss anything, pal. Cliff, I'm just kidding. She was freaking awesome. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. First, I'll lasso his leg. Then we'll pull this bungee cord that's attached to this iron. This iron will smack him in the head, and he'll fall down. Okay. Then, based on my calculations, okay. if I somersault at a 45 degree angle and tuck at this slope, and then release right here, I will jump here and perfectly slide right into the finish line. And then, once I've done that, I'll go down and I'll ask Veronica if she'll go to the Winter Wonderland dance with me. Oh. Took a long time to make these plans, I sure hope they work. A little aftershave. Oh, that doesn't hurt at all. Hmm.
I P K E N. a much better plan. What's up, loser? Yeah! Ready to lose? Yeah, cause you are a loser. <laughs> yeah, loser boy! <laughs> oh! Look at the loser boy! <laughs> hey, this is Charlie. Oh! Loser boy! What's up, fellas? Yeah! What's up, Charlie? So, good one last night. That was, uh, that was really good. Ready to watch me skin that poser? Yeah! Put him in a body bag, Charlie! Yeah! Sweep the leg! Yeah! I'm on it! I'm in 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 it! Anyways, I was just coming to ask you to call off the race with Jason. What? Do you like that loser or something? Charlie, he's a nice guy. But, can he ski? Well, that's why I'm asking you Are you, you saying that you don't think I can beat him? Huh? Is that it? Is that what you're saying right now? Are you saying that you don't think I can beat him? Because I think that's what you're saying right now, that you don't think I... Forget it, traitor. No, Charlie! Now! I'm going to double beat him. Yeah! In your face! Final words, Rook? Because you are going down. No. You're going down. Ski your credit! Someone must have been stolen in town. Get set. Really should have scheduled the point. Never fails to make me. Charlie, over here.
thought they tore this place down years ago. You really should have made an appointment. What the hell is going on? See, this is what I'm talking about. It gets harder every time we do it this way. What? What? What is this? Welcome to Carol X Incorporated. You will not be harmed during this process. Anything we discuss or witness together will be in strict confidentiality. You have the right to ask me any question at any time. If I do not answer your question, it means that you already know the answer to said question. Please sign this indicating that I have read you your rights. Okay. What is this? What? Who put you up to this, Rex? Is it said what? What is this? What? Huh? What is going on? Who are you? You shot me! I'm the ghost of Christmas past. Ghost. Yeah, that's right. Boom. <laughs> I'm sorry I shot you, by the way. I have a little fascination with BB guns. Okay, so you're a ghost. What the hell do you want with me? That's why I hate going first. First of all, dude, what's going on? Dude, you're gonna get visited by like three ghosts. All right, look, this is our busiest time of year. Can we cut the crap? Hey, this is my high school. Here's my phone. See that right there? That was my phone. Nobody could touch it without talking to me first. I own that phone right there. You done screwing around? You want to just watch? Playground? You think this crap is easy or cheap? Who the f do you think you are? This is a multi-million dollar undertaking, and yes, yeah, sometimes we have to cut corners, alright? Fine. Fine. I was gonna save the rest of the budget and give you a big fireworks display at the end, maybe even a couple Christmas presents. But you wouldn't really appreciate that, would you? So let's go. Rachel. 
That's right, card. <laughs> Got your girl. I'm not taking any more crap from you, Charlie. I'm done with it. Stay away from Rachel. She's my girl. You will be taking crap from me the rest of your life, Jason Sorotin. Because you suck. And I'm awesome. Stop! Psych. Oh, man. Good one. Don't be so proud of yourself. It's about time somebody stood up to that jackass. <laughs> He's the biggest loser in the school. Don't sweat it. Yeah, wanna go get some lunch? No, okay. Hey, you call me a loser? Huh? You can't call me a loser. Hey, come back here. Who are you calling? No, 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 come on. Mr. Hess. Mr. Hess? You with me? Where am I? You're at the Wachusett Mountain Medical Center. You're involved in a skiing accident on Mount Death. You took a bump on the noggin. You're gonna be okay. Hey. Where are all my friends? Sir, you were brought in alone about an hour ago. Ski Patrol brought you in. They found you up there laying in the snow. Can you turn your head this way a little bit, please? Ah! Stay away from me. You're one of them, aren't you? One of what? Stay away from me. Stay back. Stay away. Just relax, all right? Just sit down for a second. Stay away. I am fine. I'm fine. I am a level five ski instructor. Are you? No. I can handle a little fall out there. Nice hair. <laughs> You're one of them. Stay back, stay back. I'm a level five ski instructor. <laughs> You're such a wuss, man. I thought you were a big tough guy. Kick all the ass in Texas. Was I wrong? <laughs> oh, by the way, if you have a request to be taken home, you'll be taken home immediately. But that doesn't mean you're done with my side of the process. You just sign that to indicate that you clearly understand all the terms and conditions of said process. I lost that race because of you. I was gonna crush that nerd, and then you had to come along with your BB gun and start firing like you were a man. We don't have time for this. Sign that. We're over time. Yeah. We're over the budget. Let's go. Quiet. You're ruining the moment. Don't touch me. Here you go, son. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Dad, I don't need any more ski gloves. I already have like six pairs. I wanted a baseball glove. <laughs> a baseball glove. <laughs> what are you going to do with a baseball glove? Well, I was going to play baseball. <laughs> I have not spent thousands of dollars to make you the best skier ever for nothing. Baseball is a distraction away from skiing. But I like baseball, Dad. Baseball is not going to pay the bills. Chances of you making it to the pros is 30 million to one. Who says I want to go to the pros, Dad? End of discussion. Now go get dressed for practice. But, Dad, it's Christmas. I don't care what day it is. 
You're not going to be a level five ski instructor sitting on your ass and eating turkey all day. You'll be a loser. Don't walk away from him. Where are you going? Don't walk away from me. I want to play baseball, Dad. I don't want to ski. I guess we do become our fathers, don't we? Is that all you got? Huh? Is that it? Because I can take it. No problem. Things certainly can't get any weirder than that. What? No, no. No! 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 Elizabeth, go ahead. Yes, I'm feeling a little bit behind schedule, but yes, Mr. Fieldman, I understand the implications of falling behind. Yes, I've already filled the 1199 time extension form. Good day, sir. You really should have made an appointment, Mr. Hess. You truly are considerate. One second. Miss Elizabeth, go ahead. Yep, that's fine. I'll just squeeze her in. Okay, thank you. Bye. Yes, Elizabeth. Yes, I need you to cancel my dinner with Barney from the Future Division. Also, can you send flowers to Miss Glenda Miles from the Past Division? The letter reads as follows. Dear Glenda, I'm terribly sorry for your loss. Your husband was one of the best ghosts of the Christmas future this company's ever seen. With love, Elizabeth Marley. Will that be all? Yes. So, you're the ghost of Christmas present. Hmm? Oh, we have a bright one here. Come a little closer. A little closer. <clears throat> no time to dilly dally, Mr. Hess. Chop, chop. When entering a turn, shift weight to the opposite foot of the direction of the turn. Come on, man. It's so easy. Hey, what's going on? It's going okay. Any day now I should pass the test. Um, I, I should be a ski instructor next week, hopefully. All I need is like $400. I, fe I fell behind on some bills and... I'll pay you back. I'm good for it. This is my dream, Dad. Please. Fine. What? Oh, I'm sorry, Veronica. A telemarketer. Uh, I can't. I, I'd like to. I gotta study for this test. I gotta pass it. Maybe another night, though. Alright. You too, Veronica. Alright. Bye. What does it feel like to smash people's dreams, Charlie? How did I smash his dreams? Oh, this looks familiar. I mean, this is your signature, is it not? Let's read together. Four sentences down, and I quote, If I did not answer your question, that means you already know the answer to the said question. What's going on here? Looks like you don't know your friends as well as you thought you did. Cliff here has been studying ballet secretly for five years. Cliff's into ballet. It's his one true passion. Cliff, someone's at your door, pal. Something can this wait? <laughs> then cancel it. Dude, you fell down so far. It was crazy. Uh, I didn't know what happened. You know what I love that, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs>
Dude, what's going on? Nothing, I was just... Uh... Dude, you're doing ballet. So what? So if Charlie ever saw you, he'd like totally freak out and kick you out of the inner circle. You're risking everything, man. Are you insane? Yeah. No more parties. No more girls. No more hanging out with the popular kids, you know? Yeah. It's time to make a decision, man. Either you're with Charlie, or you're against him. You're right, Rex. <laughs> no, Cliff, he's wrong. <laughs> Cliff, don't, man, listen, I don't care. What was I thinking? Cliff! One small leap for man, one giant leap for Cliff Hargrave. Cliff. Come along, Charlie. It's, What's wait, done is done. Just wait a second. Cliff! Cliff! I don't care. Oh! You think we can stop with the hitting and the falling and the bruising and the pulling of my ear? Anybody home? Ken Quigley. Charlie Hess. miles through the snow just to visit me. Oh! <laughs> sit, sit, sit. Shit. You want to play some Connect Four? Or some Monopoly? You want a drink? Some, uh, some melted snow water? No, I'm fine. Thanks. Yahtzee! I've got Yahtzee! Are you it? Am I what? It, you know. What? Never mind. I, um, I thought... I thought you were dead. What happened? You just... 
Ken, you, 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 you disappeared. What happened? Well, after you beat me out as the uh, number one level five ski instructor, I was miserable. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't. Taboo. I've got some taboo. No, that's fine, Ken. Uno! Wanna play some Uno? No, thanks. You know what Uno means, right, Charlie? Uno means one! One unit, one life to live, alone. One slice of pizza with one slice of pepperoni. One glass of soda with only one ice cube. One carnival with only one ride, one mall with only one store, one keyboard, <laughs> with only one key, one word, pointless. You took my life away from me, Charlie. Whoa. Ken. What are you talking about? I had everything. Beautiful woman. fast cars, all the free food I could eat at the lodge, then you came along and you took it all away. Would you stop? You taught me to be the best, Ken. I learned everything from you. You wanted me to be the best and so I was. How come you never visited me? I told you, I thought you were dead. Did I have a funeral? No. Did you bring me a present? No. I'm sorry. I'm lonely, Charlie. I drink water made from melted snow. I hunt with homemade spears. I've been sick. <sighs> with no one to take care of me. I wasn't lost. I was hiding from myself. And that's why I can't let it happen to you. So weird. Now, that last thing, was that real or was that fake? Because it hurt, hurt, hurt like it was real.
Thank you for choosing Carol X Incorporated. We're sorry to keep you waiting. Your business is very important to us. All of our representatives are currently assisting other customers. Please stand in the light and you will be issued a ghost in the order in which you were received. Your estimated wait time is... 10 minutes. Thanks. So how are things going out here? Things are great. Things are great. Good. No, things aren't great. My dad cut me off today. If I don't make ski instructor, I just don't know what I'm going to do. I'll help you out. Come on. All right. Thanks. No problem. You think you can help me? Well, I can certainly try. <laughs> Jason, this is it. The past 20 minutes of training comes down to this. Are you ready? I am, Veronica. Good, and just know that no matter what happens, I'm so proud of you. You grew so much in that montage. Thank you. OK, get in your position. Ready? Anyway, yeah. Go. Thank <laughs> you. 
transferring you to a customer service representative. Please remain in the light. This interaction may be recorded to assure quality service. Please remain in the light. Mr. Hess? Yes! Hi, this is Doris from the home office. How are you today? Well, to be honest, Doris, it's been kind of a strange... Great. As you've probably heard, Mr. Hess, this is our busiest time of year, and we're having some issues gathering all your paperwork. It seems that we're missing some of it. Can you please fill out these forms? <laughs> then we'll be all set, sir. Sorry for the inconvenience. I need a pen. Thank you. Go away. Go away! Jason, it's me. Let me in. What are you doing? I'm packing. I'm leaving the mountain. You're just gonna give up on your dream like that? It's a stupid dream anyway. My dad was right. I'm never gonna be a level five ski instructor. Well, so what? Who cares? I care! It's the only thing I've ever cared about. What am I gonna do now? You can figure something out. I mean, you don't need to just pack up you your... You know what? Can you just leave me alone? I need, I need some time alone. You know what, Jason? There are a lot of people here who care about you. I'll never be with Veronica now. She probably thinks I'm a total loser. I'm done. So, you're the ghost. What? What, 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 what? Bo boxes, and you're in a box, and this... <laughs> Where are we? Two words? Okay, second word. Uh, uh, concrete. Pavement. Is it pavement? Constipation. Dog? You dog? Yes, I know. Can you talk, please? Uh, you know how funny you look right now? Dead! You're dead! You're dying. You're drawing. You're... What are you? Cliff Hargrave. Oh, I get it. Hard grave. What is he doing? How could that happen to Cliff? Is he gonna be okay? Where's he going?
Cliff, what are you doing? Those are the, the ballet pictures that he... Are you telling me that Cliff ended up here because he quit ballet? Where are we now? This is getting a little old. Yes, it's a TV. strikes another mountain resort as a snow slasher claims another victim. We'll have all of the details for you in just a few minutes. But first, this news. A local cat has been crowned Christmas Cat of the Year. Tyson Henry Cat of Massachusetts was crowned Christmas Cat of the Year today. Each year, Kitty Food International awards the prize to the most Christmassy cat. Tyson beat out hundreds of competitors. He's so Christmassy. He is, isn't he? <laughs> Tragedy strikes again as the snow slasher continues to terrorize America's ski resorts. Today, Jason Zerotin, better known as the snow slasher, claimed his 40th victim. Here's Barbara Stone with more. Thanks, Maggie. It's one of the most bizarre cases in criminal history. A man, shunned by the ski community, gets his revenge by cutting their legs off. Why does he do it? Why can't we catch him? And how does he choose his victims? I've asked world-renowned psychologist Dr. Harvey Leonard to help us dissect the case. Because he is an avid skier, Dr. Leonard has requested we hide his identity. Jason Sorotin is a very interesting case. He was well-liked, a uh, very good upbringing. But one day, something just snapped. Now, we don't know exactly uh, why or how Jason chooses his victims, but what we do know is that all of them are very good skiers. So why can't we catch him? I have no idea. So why does he do it? Plain and simple. Uh, jealousy, revenge, and um, sociopathic tendencies. Jason Sorotin is a very dangerous man. And if you can ski, he might cut your legs off. I'm Barbara Stone, Channel 5 News. How... How... How could that happen? I, I don't believe it.
Where's everybody? Somebody's gotta get in here. Somebody. There's someone here. There's gotta be neighbors. There's gotta be somebody around here. Hello, Taurus. Hello, minivan. Hello, highway. Hello, mountain! Dude, nice one. My turn. Bro, fantastic hit, man. Ah, Brad hit, man. Nice job. I know you do ballet. I quit, man, I swear. Cliff, you can't quit, Cliff. You love it, right? I know you love it. I quit, I swear, all right? Just, just stop making fun of me. Cliff, I'm, not, I'm not, not, not making fun of you. I have been a complete asked you for a long time I, all of you actually I've been a complete ass to all of you and I I I I I, I know this now I hate what I have become and I'm changing my life today my life my life my 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 me 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 my life is completely meaningless and if I if we if we don't change, we're going to be miserable and alone the rest of our lives. I, I know about this, Cliff. So, 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 so do ballet, Cliff. Do ballet, because you love it. And, and, and I'll do it with you. Really? Cliff. It's so hard to be honest. But it's good. Cliff, I have done horrible things to you. Just horrible. I owe you. I just want to be the best friend that I can be to you. That's it. And you two, you two, you can stop living the lie. Well, you two have like a, a thing going on, right? I've known for like four years. You guys are gay? It's okay. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with love. There's nothing wrong with you guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. So, I'd love to stay in chat, but I can't. I gotta protect our legs. Uh, so... I gotta get to that, all right. Cliff, I'll call you about ballet practice. Yo, bro, what did he say about protecting legs? Go away. Go away, leave me alone. What's going on? I'm leaving the mountain, not like you care. 
You're not going anywhere, Jason. You can do this, and and I'm gonna help you. It's not all that said you want to help me. You've been trying to sabotage me all these weeks, all these months, and now you want to help me. Okay, I know I've been a jerk. I have been a complete jerk to you, but I want to make things right. I know it's not about me. It never was about me. I know that, but I I. I want to make things right with you, Jason. Sorry if I don't believe you, Charlie. I'll prove it to you. I've learned something from you, Jason. I've learned about passion. About passion. You can't leave it behind. You can't ignore it. No matter what our dad say. How do you know about my dad? My eyes are open now, Jason. I can see everything so clearly now. And you know what I see in front of me right now? What do you see? I see you becoming a totally rad skier. I see you becoming a level five ski instructor. But I stink. Yeah, so what? It doesn't matter. It's your passion. Do you want it? Will it make you happy? Yeah. Then you do it. Because it's your passion. Because it will drive you. Because it is inside of you. And I know you can do it. Are you offering to train me? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks, man. Goodbye. Let's start right now. All right. So tomorrow, just remember everything that we went over today, and you're going to be great. You're going to do fantastic. Thanks, man. I, I, I really can't express how, how thankful I am that you helped me out. I really appreciate it. Hey, man, I owe you. In fact, if I get everybody's attention, please. Over the past few days, I've learned a lot about life, and more importantly, I've learned about Friendship. And that's thanks to you, Jason. It's all to you. And tomorrow, Jason is going to fulfill his lifelong dream of becoming a ski instructor. And he may not, right off the bat, make level five, but that's okay because he will. Thank you. Someday, he will. So this is to you, Jason Sroden. May your mountains always be covered in fresh powder. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Bottoms up. Mm. You gotta keep eye contact. If you take your eye contact off of someone during a, sh a, a, a shot, cheers, you know, it's like, it's I didn't something. Know that. We still got more to learn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you know that guy? Yeah, yeah, he's cool. He's cool. Is he okay? Yeah, he'll be fine. Okay, because he's, I, I think he's passed out. No, he's good, he's good. Okay, he's good. Oh, thank you. Now remember, when you 
turning, carve with your uphill ski. The more pressure you put on that ski, the tighter your turn is going to be. You got it? Okay, got it. All right, guys, we're going to start the test in a minute, okay? Okay. All right. to handle that terrain. Charlie, you gotta go save her. You gotta go save her. Nothing, I, you gotta go Are save you? Veronica right now. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll be fine. Just save her. I won't be okay if something happens to Veronica. Okay, right. go Listen, now. Calm down. Listen. You pass this test. You pass this test, Jason. And I'll save Veronica. Save Veronica. I'll do whatever. Just save her. Thanks, Charlie. <laughs> I'll do it. Do what? I'll save Veronica. Jason, it's not worth it. You'll die up there. I'd rather die than live without Veronica. I need her. She's my girl. I love her. death and I lost concentration. Are you here by yourself? What hurts? You risked your life to rescue me. Veronica, what hurts? I think my leg's broken. Okay. Your left leg? All right, I'm going to carry you out of here. All right, put your, put your arm around me. Now you're going to put some weight on your right foot and I'm going to lift you up, okay? All right. One, two, three. I love you. Really? Oh. Really? Yes, I love you too. What happened? He fell down the mountain and got knocked out cold. Again. What about Veronica? Jason went to rescue her. Jason's on Mount Death. How long has he been gone? It's been almost an hour. Well, I gotta go get him. No. Oh, him. Watch her leg. It's her left leg. She's cold. Way to go, Jason. You did it, Jason. Totally awesome, man. That incredible job, Jason. Jason, for your display of skill and bravery, I would like to announce that you have passed your test. Uh, and, and for your display of bravery at Mount Death, I would like to award you the distinguished title of Level 5 Ski Instructor. Really? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. As soon as you pay the $500 fee. Yeah! yeah! Veronica, you're the last person I need to talk to about this. I'm sorry for the way I treated you. I'm sorry because I used you, I objectified you, and I'm, I'm so sorry. It's okay, Charlie. Everything happens for a reason. Listen, uh, you know, Jason is a really nice guy. So if you give him a chance, you know, maybe something... Charlie, we've been making out for the past half hour. Oh. Okay. Veronica, 
something I've been wanting to ask you for a really long time. Okay. Will you be my date to the Winter Wonderland dance? Nothing would make me happier. But I don't know how good of a dancer I'll be. I don't care. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh, may I? May I? I am so proud of what you've accomplished. Thanks. Thanks for being who you are. No, Charlie. Thank you for me. Thank you for making all my dreams come true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, easy, easy, easy. Sorry, buddy. Head trauma. My dad. Get the girl. Get the girl. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Yeah.